Good morning, folks. We're going to be a little focused on the sun today. After a touch of weather, we're going to have a full suite of space weather stories, including one that might just tell us something about the magnetic event ongoing at Earth. Apart from that plasma filament dance we saw at the opening, it was a very calm day. Little umbral magnetic field pops can be seen across the disk as those magnetic regions take their first failing shots at producing plagues this new solar cycle. The solar wind appeared yesterday like it was going to get interesting, but dropped back out before any telemetry escaped normal ambient quiet range. No surprises here on the KP index. Well folks, this is pretty much the only thing breaking the trend of a 100% solar physics show today. This fell in the North Texas storms near the tornado two nights ago. Five inches across is deadly hail. And if you love the hail topic and missed our show from May 1st of this year, we did a bit of a special on its extremes. Up next, time series forecasting solar cycle 25. It's one of the hardest, most patient heavy requirements of this community to know grand solar minimum is coming this century and to not go nuts over it before it gets here. We have about the 100th solar cycle forecast now suggesting a similar solar cycle to the one we just had. By the way, that's what our forecast was in 2018. That means it's going to be a long 11 years for those pushing grand minimum now, and despite its weakness indicating that, indeed, grand minimum is coming in a later cycle. All you need is the patience. Do you have it? Anyway, we're off to the solar wind for a fun tidbit. In the 90s, the JPL Genesis mission discovered every known element in the solar wind. All of them. Here, we have an interesting piece on the sulfur content in the solar wind, which is about as close to a sun flatulence as you're ever going to get. Now we dig a bit deeper. A new, hidden magnetic cycle on the sun is offering tremendous insights beyond its intended scope. They have discovered a 72 rotation cycle on the sun involving the quadrupole underlying field, and now due to differential rotation, the sun doesn't have a single spin rate, but for the magnetic fields and solar cycles, you want to look where Earth's polar vortex would be, where the polar coronal hole IMF is contained, at about the 28 or 29 days rotation mark. Well, 28 or 29 days for one rotation, times 72 rotations for the quadrupole magnetic cycle, gets you between 5 and 6 years for one quadrupole cycle, or exactly one half harmonic of the 11 year sunspot cycle. Up next, when the solar wind breaks through, except we're not talking about a flux transfer event along the interplanetary magnetic field sneaking into the upper atmosphere, this would be the plasma that did it the hard way. It arrived with the solar wind, compresses the magnetic field, and apparently has never before discovered mechanisms of access inside that planetary shield. This is important because it offers another way for induction, dual heating, and electromagnetic coupling with the ionosphere, and after that, it's all about how that energy is distributed in the global electric circuit. Now, last but not least, folks, the new gold mission studying the ionosphere has returned surprising results about equatorial ion depletions and ionization anomalies, basically when they get whacked electromagnetically. But they knew this happened, and that's not the surprise. The surprise is that it's happening now at sunspot minimum. There is no math that should allow such space weather influence over the Earth system unless, I don't know, our protective magnetic shield is fading. They want to blame plasma fountain processes at the magnetic equator, and that's not the worst first guess. But the problem is that its reactivity, especially in its oxygen release upward, is 100% related to sunlight and solar wind bombardment. So even if they're right, it still implies something is not right in the global field. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Everything you want to know about the magnetic event ongoing at this planet is found in the Cosmic Disaster playlist linked below the video. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our start to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.